Hello everyone, it's the Dumpster Man and welcome to night 1, 5, <clears throat> 15 of Dumpster Diving. Uh, before I get into this video, a quick shout out to Savvy Salvage and to uh, the Speedy Diver for their great videos. Keep them coming. Also, subscribe to my new channel, uh, The Pocket Reviewer, where I review mobile games uh, every single day. I do new uploads, so have a look in the link below. Today's video, I've been to the charity shop dumpster and I found that bag, that bag, that bag these two pictures. Let's have a look at these first while we're here. So let's get into it. So, <clears throat> first one that caught my attention was this one of Laurel and Hardy. Now, <clears throat> I don't think there's anything significant about this picture. It's just a picture in a frame. But I'll take it apart and have a look at it just to make sure there's nothing underneath. The, you never know. Just got to have a look and check underneath pictures sometimes the signs you just never know next thing that caught my eye when I was going through the dumpster was this picture now there's a picture of um I don't know if this is where this is but um does it say no there's no mention of any house or anything but that's been hand drawn or hand painted by the looks of it and what caught my attention as well was this down here now there's a signature there on the bottom right but the one on the left there is also uh, tells you how many of these have been made, painted, produced, printed, etc. So 600, this is number 280 out of 600. Uh, on the back, with nothing that stands out, uh, that I can see. So I'll have a look at that and see if I can find the um, person that has made this picture that'll be interesting but they they were both thrown in the same dumpster so you just don't know you've just got to pick these out and have a look okay so onto these bags do a weight test that's not too bad oh, that's heavier and that's lighter so let's start with this one I think let's do this one let's push them to the side <clears throat> okay so I haven't I haven't had any sneak peeks into these, so I don't actually know what's in any of these bags. So that's the fun of it. You just pick something out and see, hopefully, for the, for the best, you'll find something interesting. Okay, so what have we got here? Uh, Doctor Who magazine, okay. Is that an actual Doctor Who magazine? Yeah, it looks like it. From 2015, but <clears throat> still, £5. You would have had to have paid for it. I mean, even though these are out of date, it's often the pictures sometimes that will, you, you know, you can flick through these and find a picture or a post or something that's worth looking at. So, you know, you just don't know, do you? So, there you are, still reading material in the end of the day, can't complain with that. What's this? Auto car magazine, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, is there a price anywhere? I think there is one a price. Is that price three pound eighty? I like to check the prices of these just so you can see. Oh, that's a relatively recent one as well. Look, seventh to the fourteenth of August two thousand and nineteen. So only a what two week old magazine this, to be honest. So three pound eighty saved and also saved from the dumpster. Now with magazines like this one, they often have really nice pictures of cars. I'm just gonna see. If there's anything in here, like an Aston Martin, or I don't know, like even that. Look at that, that's nice, isn't it? So, Ferrari. Just nice to look at sometimes, just to read up on and, and see what what there is. So that's two magazines there. So two magazines for free, I can't, can't complain about that. What else have we got? Something else here? Mercedes Enthusiast magazine, okay, I've never heard of that, but um, August 2019, so this month, £4.70, wow, it's amazing sometimes what you can find, I think it's, there you go, if you look at that front of that magazine, not looking too bad, and inside the magazine you've still got some nice pictures of, so here we go, look, look at that nice some nice pictures of cars in there trip of a lifetime so that's still you know you can still read that so that's cool so that's three magazines so far let's see what else we've got in here so okay sugar babes 
free. Try and get that lighting out of the way. Let's open this up, see if there's anything in here. Uh, the case is not in the best condition. Oh no, it's splitting. It's, it's broken case. Let's see if I can get the disc out. Yeah, it's there, but it's got a bit of, just like it's probably had a bit of um, liquid stuck to them. Always check to see if there's, sometimes they're signed. That's worth keeping hold of just to have a look at, see if it's signed. You never know. Uh, let's put my hand in and see what else I can find. Arcade Fire the Suburbs. Okay. Uh, is it actually in there? I don't know. What's this? Okay, there's a CDR in there. That's very strange. Um, nothing else in there. There's another sleeve here. No, it's not. unfortunately not in there. I just checked it's not been signed. No, it's a shame. Sometimes they're signed on the back, you've got to have a look. But it's an interesting case though. Arcade Fire the Suburbs. Excellent. Let's put my hand in and see if I can feel anything else in here. So I can feel a CD. What's that? Dizzy Rascal. Maths, English. Okay, check the quality. The, uh, see what this is like. It's not too bad condition actually, to be honest. So yeah, so far so good. Let's have a little, another dig in here. Can't feel anything else to be honest. It all feels like a bag. Bags within bags, that particular one. So I'll put that, uh, let's throw that over there because that's the rubbish. Wearing gloves as always guys, just remember that when digging through rubbish. Just put some gloves on, just saves any problems. Uh, next lightest bag was this one. Okay, let's open this one up. There. Now, as I've said, I have no idea what I'm going to find. Um, it's a poster. I think it's a poster to do with the British Heart Foundation, which it is. Yeah, not interested to me. Let's see if there's anything else. Put my hand in. A lot of this might be um, advertising material. Form advertising material. I See something down here. Don't know what that is. Got 199 on the bottom, so I'll have to have a look, see if I can find the rest of that. Um, oh, what's that? Oh, some sort of thing to go on the wall. Celebrate an event or something. Bags within bags, as always. I haven't found any bottles yet. Ones I don't like. An umbrella. Okay. Um, I think something has just fallen off, but I don't think. I think if, as long as the umbrella is in sort of working condition, that would be okay. Let's open it up and have a look. Nice, colourful umbrella. This actually. Um, it is slightly broken. Actually, I can see just up the top there. There is. It's sticking out. I might be able to glue that back on, but um, I'm not sure. I will keep that to the side. As you never know, these things can be fixed. So I'll keep that over there. I can't even put it back down. <laughs> it's that broken. I'll have to have a look into that. Let's, have a look. Let's get into this bag so you can see what I see. Um, what's this? It's the back of something. Nothing really there. Well, probably had a picture on it. Yep, I don't know if that's just it's fallen off, but I don't think I'll really use that. Some things can be glued, some things can't. Um, okay. A um, rolling thing. Doesn't seem anything wrong with that. Solid wood, that, to be honest. 199 Still, yeah usable and that's really good if you've got any bread just give it just sterilize it and then you can reuse it again i don't see any problems with that um frame now i wonder if that goes with that i'm not quite sure to be honest but anyway uh all i can see is advertising in this bag i think that's just going to be rubbish again throw all this rubbish away 
Now the most exciting bag that I think, because of it being the heaviest, was this one here. Now I'm going to push them over there. Now this one was the most exciting because it, it is heavy. Uh, yeah, it's got some good weight to that. Now they could be CDs, DVDs. I'm hoping, being, hoping there will be um, some games in here, such as PS2, PS3, or Wii games, because I can reuse them. So let's dive in and see what we can find. Now straight away, I think, yeah, I can see. Oh, I can see a good collection of stuff in here. Oh, this is going to be a good, good bag. Look at this. First thing is a PlayStation 2 game, excellent, yes. Look at the price of it originally. Um, World Championship Snooker 2004, one or two players. I always get excited when it's one or two players because I can have friends play this, you see. Now, the real question is the condition. Now, are you ready? Let's have a look, look together. The camera focuses. Yes, it's in there. No manual, but. The game is in there, that's what I wanted. Um, that's a bit of a clean, needs a good bit of, bit of a clean, but PS2, replayable, that's the sort of thing I'm looking for. Excellent, on to the next one. FIFA Football 2003, PlayStation 2. Two player, yes, so I can hear something, so hopefully it's in there. Yes, something, yes, well, this is Fever 2000, yes, this is the right game, I thought it was a different Fever for a second then. Condition, oh, right, actually, for an old game, that's okay. It's even got the manual in there, so that's excellent. So, that, that is there, that's two PlayStation 2 games so far, so that's excellent. What have we got in here, got some um, junior board games. Cool, I never knew they'd made the game like this. One to four players, wow. That's really cool actually, I like that. Um, let's open it up. Yeah, I can hear something. Yes, it's in there, it's even got the manual. Look, that's in there. Junior board games for the PS2. Let's have a little look at the condition. Not bad, it's got a few scratches but that blue background on the back of the disc always seems to be in good condition normally. So, three PS2 games so far, excellent. That's what I wanted to see. Um, let's see, what's this? Simple surf casting. Fishing, fishing DVD, I presume. Yeah, in there. Part two. I want to have a look at the condition. I will. See if there's anything here worth checking. Future armor, the beast with a billion backs. Okay, uh, I'm presuming is this a film? Is this a series? Oh, it's in the, it is a, it's an adventure. Okay, and it's in there. So it's collectible, isn't it? Future armor because I know they made series on these. Yeah, look, the condition's really quite good. Um, so there you are. Yeah, that's worth keeping. Future armor. What else have we got? The Harry Hill movie. Okay. <laughs> How old is that? Can't see a can't see a year on it, but um there you are. And it's in there as well, look. The Harry Hill movie. That's cool. Films are worth keeping. Uh let's dig in, dig in, dig in. What else have we got? Something else is here. Oh, Penny Racers for the PS2. Excellent, another PS2 game. One to two players, yep. That's good. Uh, yep. Penny Racers, there you go, look at that, fantastic. The condition is pretty good, I'd say, on that, to be honest. Yep, we'll have that. Add that to the pile. That's four PS2 games found so far. Let's see what else we can grab from here. Oh, stuck to me hand. X-Men, The Last Stand. I haven't got this, so that's good. I can add that to the pile. Yep. X-Men, The Last Stand is in there. 
Yep, just needs a good wipe down and that will be replayable. Fantastic. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Pro Evolution Soccer. So this must have been the original Pro Evolution Soccer. Yeah, I think this might be one to two. Wow, this is an old game, but let's see. Mm. Oh, it's not. Is it there? I don't know. No, it's just the a manual for something. What's this manual here? This manual for something. It's not for this game. Is it for Metal Gear Solid? I don't know. It's got something else in there, but anyway, it's not in there. That's a shame. I wonder if it's in the bag. Let's put that to the side then. That there. What else we got? Uh, Ben 10 Alien Force. Yep, yeah, in there. Uh, boom. So there, you can't go wrong with that. For the Wii, okay, good. Julian Michaels Fitness Ultimate. For the Wii, yes, in there as well. Check the condition. 2009, a good 10 year old game, this. Uh, condition's pretty good. So it's good to find a Wii game. You don't always find Wii games. But I've got a good selection today. You've got films, got PS2, we got Wii games. So that's good. So let's carry on. The Adventures of Tom Thumb Timberlina. Okay, some sort of cartoon in there, yes. Uh, what else we got? Digging, digging, digging. Oh, so Mac DVD, Mac DVD, The Sims 2 for Business Expansion Pack. I've never found one of these before. Yeah, in there. Uh, there's a code there for something if anyone with a Mac wants it. Um, yeah, this is a Mac Expansion Pack. Wow. Never ever found one of these before, so that's cool. It's interesting. I like it. Uh, let's put my hand in and dig out something here. Jasmine's Enchanted Tales, something to do with Aladdin, yep, in there, add that to the DVD pile, what else got, excellent, another PS2 game, Rugby Challenge 2006, one to two players, not a fan of rugby, but still, finding anything is good, yep, Rugby 2006, good condition, yep, I'll take it, I'll take it, Anything that can be replayed on the PS2 is good in my opinion. Cut all this rubbish. Torchwood, Children of Earth. There you are. That's a series box of it. Okay. Um, Mel Gibson, Braveheart. Yep. Yeah. Is there two? It feels like there's two. Should be two discs. Yes, there's two disc edition in there. Collector's edition by any chance? No, it's just a special edition, isn't it? Yeah, okay, that's decent, yeah. Another PS2 game, yes, fantastic. Buzz the Mega Quiz. And you can hear that in there. I wonder if there's more, more than one game in here. No, I can definitely feel there was two discs. Um, the, okay, so the Mega Quiz and the Big is okay that's interesting is okay so they are are they two they are two separate games aren't they so the big the big quiz is not to this game but they are related so one's <laughs> okay I'll keep them together but two two games in one now I'll take that let's have a look um excellent football game PlayStation 2 Fever 06 13 years old, but still um, playable with friends if you really want to. Yeah, it's got the manual plus the disc. Pretty good. Yeah, take it. It's, um, there's something else. There's a manual and a gaming guide, so that's cool. Yeah, nice one. Playable stuff can be replayed. Even the old games sometimes are even are just as good. So the in between is movie just there. Um, what's this? 
Any Given Sunday, I've never heard of it before, an old film by the looks of it. Um, another PS2 game, Premier Manager, from 2002 to 2003, oh my goodness. Um, that is old, that is, might as well be a um, classic to be honest, I'm going back that far. So we've got, if I can get the disc out, we'll have a look at it anyway. Yeah, it's got a blue back. A few scratches, but you know, for an old game, that, you know, you can't, can't go wrong with a free old game. And there's still more. The Last Malt. Okay, anyway. Um... Is this a band DVD? I don't know, what is this? The Last Waltz. Let's have a look at the back. Some sort of old rock performances live by the looks of it. It's quite cool, look, if you look at that picture. Pretty decent, well I'll take it, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else lying in here. The Shining, oh no. Horror films, don't like horror films. Um, a farewell to arms. Never heard of that. Um, I think that may be it. I'm just going to check to make sure there's nothing else in that bag. But look at this collection of stuff today. Got that Wii game just there. Got that Mac DVD. I never knew who made those. Got all those DVDs there, got that empty PS2 game unfortunately, but we've got, how many have we got all together, let's count them, we've got um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 PS2 games, replayable content you see, and then in the other bags we've got these uh, few CDs and um, magazines with the uh, roller for bread and things like that, so yeah, that's what we've got today, so again, uh, thank you for watching this video, I do appreciate all my new subscribers and all you guys, especially uh, Savvy Salvage, the Speedy Diver and everyone else that might watch my videos and like my videos, I do appreciate it. Please subscribe to my new channel if you like mobile gaming content. I do reviews on games every single day. I'll leave that in the description below. So, hope you have a good day guys and I'll see you again in the next video. Take it easy. Bye.